What a lovely day out today. The sun is shining. We had a bit of rain. The earth is green and uh, mosquitoes are in the air. If warm blood pumps through your veins like it does mine and many others, chances are a mosquito has had a taste of it. And after feeling the itchy effects of their bite, you hate them for it. In order to control mosquitoes, we must first understand them. The mosquito goes through four stages of life, the egg, the larva, the pupa, and the adult. The male will be the first one to emerge from its pupa form. 24 hours later, then comes the female. And within 48 hours, they are ready to mate and create new mosquitoes. This means that the female must be fertile from the moment that she emerges from the pupa form. And this also means that because she needs to already be fertile, the female needs more protein than the male. And she finds that in the blood of other animals. It is a fact that mosquitoes kill more people a year than sharks do, yet for some reason people are more afraid of sharks than they are of mosquitoes. I know I am. It's the teeth. But mosquitoes still can spread many diseases, including yellow fever, malaria, dengue, and elephantitis. However, what we here in the Midwest, since we're in nowhere near tropical areas, what we need to worry about is the spread of encephalitis. It is true that mosquitoes have their natural predators, this includes the dragonfly, the praying mantis, and the mosquito fish. However, these creatures can't eat all the mosquitoes, and that's where you come in. It is up to you to make sure that the mosquito population in your area does not get out of control. In order to do that, you need to follow these simple rules. Check your property for breeding sites and report any standing water to vector control. Clean out leaves and debris from clogged gutters. Do not allow tires to accumulate outside. Flush out bird baths once a week. Aerate ornamental ponds and water gardens. Use a repellent that contains DEET whenever you go outside. Dispose of anything that can hold water. Mosquitoes only need a fourth of an inch of water in order to breathe. So the big pond that you have out back that you think all the mosquitoes are coming from is really not the case. They don't like big water. They like the small little amounts. The puddles that you have around in your garden the uh, tires that you keep out in your lawn that can hold water. That is where the mosquitoes are really coming from. If you have any more questions, visit the health department website at www.allencountyhealth.com, then go to divisions and then vector control. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a safe summer.